Hello, all my beautiful mystic friends. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for Thursday, February the 18th, 2021. Many blessings to you all. I have electricity today, <laughs> so I'm very excited. Uh, it's been off and on several times, but for now, it's here, so I can get this done. And uh, I hope everyone is doing well. This is our absolutely optimistically relentlessly optimistic affirmation for our most positive outcome. And if you'd like a private reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And here we go. Well, we have the magician. Lovely energy. The, this means that the energy is still malleable. And you can continue to manifest and bring, you know, nothing is set in stone. You have your energy to put forth to manifest the outcome that you desire. That's what you focus on is the outcome. Don't worry about the details. You just think about how you want to feel and allow yourself to kind of get into that emotion. Emotion and feeling are very strong magnetic energy pulls for what you want to manifest. Now, this is great. This is even better. We have the Ten of Cups. This is the happily ever after energy. It's also the icosahedron, which I have up here holding the cards, an icosahedron, same geometric pattern there. So this is the happily ever after energy, being in a complete cycle of receiving all that you are trying to work out. Remember, this reading is not about your horoscope. It is about the energy of manifestation, and using the law of attraction. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for allowing everyone to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. So yes, um, yesterday was a, it, it was a, one of those times where I would not be vanquished. <laughs> so here I am in Texas, and the phrase for us is, you know, for me, it's, it was time for me to cowgirl up and be, uh, use my ingenuity and allow myself to, to forge onward because I love what I do. I love doing this, and I love doing this for you guys, and thank you for the support I get for doing it, but this really makes me happy, and just to, you know, when you're in a place where you're in a pickle, and things seem like they're kind of ganging up on you. Sometimes you have to just put yourself in the situation where you are doing something that makes you happy, regardless of what the situation is, right? So, because I could, I did. And we have the Five of Cups here. I want to show you something really cool about this artwork. So you see these three cups. They're setting, they're the sunset, right? And, and you notice in these cups, there are, they look like stems, right? But they also look like little candle flames, don't they? So these cups that are empty are now forging the light for these new cups. So all three cups have flame as these new things are being given moving forward. In the, in the new beginning on the, at the horizon is blank slate. So anything's possible. I love this energy and this means letting go of that old rancid wine so that you can move forward exploring new options. So the five of cups don't dwell in the past. We have the universe. The universe will show me the right path to take to reach my goal. Absolutely will. Absolutely, as long as you're you're open to receive that information, sometimes we don't uh, communicate it properly or plug in to allow the download of information. I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. Listen, this is communication is the make or break of any situation. Any situation, if the communication is 
aggressive or negative or belligerent, it's going to change the outcome dramatically, right? So being in a place of being affirmative and bringing your your most positive energy to it, even when it looks bleak, continuing to say, you know what, best possible outcome, best possible outcome, even when the chips are down, I'm, I'm telling you, it changes the whole dynamic. At least you don't feel the same. You know, that down energy can't keep you down if you're not allowing yourself to be put that in that place. Assume positive intent and drive on. So here we go. Forgiveness. This is important. Um, forgiving yourself and forgiving others. It doesn't stop just there, right? Allowing yourself to be in a place of... Uh, <laughs> uh, I was in a parking lot the other day and this lady deliberately pulled in front of me and then took her foot off the brake and just let the car roll really slowly. Just microscopically slowly. It took everything I had in my whole heart and soul not to blow my horn at her. I went, I went to blow, and the horn didn't honk. And I knew that was a sign from the universe telling me, don't do it. Because I had pushed it in the wrong way. Because I, you know, jammed my hand on it. And I didn't hit, quite hit it just right for it to blow. And I just, oh, I had to eat crow. Oh, I was so mad. And I had to just, it's, after I got where I was going, I just had to sit there for a second. And bless her and release her. Because you never know what the heck her problem was. I, I, you know, I hadn't done anything to her. So you just don't know. But God, I got so mad so fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a particular store I was at. That I think a lot of you may also have visited. That it seems like the parking lot of that place is always just completely, always absorbed in some Dark, deep negativity. I have I just, every time I've gone there, there's been something. So I'm going to have to stay away from that place. <laughs> so we have allowance. The frequency of allowance invites us to open whatever comes, to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinions, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. Mm. So we can't be so fixed on how we want things to go that we don't allow for the universe to do something different. It may do something better. So be in the energy of being open. And the only reason I told you about the story of, of the, the car in the parking lot is because None of us are immune, right? I am not immune to this. And I'm talking to you from a place of where I know I have my own issues as well. But I literally had to forgive that lady because it felt so personal. So just even that minor thing, you have to forgive it and move on and let go. Because obviously there's something else going on with that person. So I release all fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I am loved and I am safe. I release all fears and doubts. So this looks light purple on here, but it's really a really dark purple. I think because of this background. This looks pink. That's funny. I caught myself. Oh, sorry. I caught myself. <laughs> I caught myself. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I now choose to free myself from destructive fears and doubts. I am loved and I am safe. Absolutely. I release all fears and doubts. Oh, I like this one. I breathe in the fullness and richness of life. I observe with joy as life abundantly supports me and supplies me with more good than I can imagine. I am safe and the universe. Oh, so I am safe in the universe and all life 
supports me. It loves and supports me. If I can get it right, we'll have a good thing here. I breathe in the fullness and richness of life. I observe with joy as life abundantly supports me and supplies me with more good than I can imagine. So it's more than you could ask or think. I am safe in the universe and all life loves and supports me. Receive, receive. We are open for that. We will allow that. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. Well, the Six of Pentacles. This is abundance coming in. A, a windfall of some kind. This is more than expected or a bonus. And it's not something you have to pay back. That's the best part. Well, look at there. Aren't these familiar? Hmm. We have the two pinnacles, very strong energy of staying focused. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't let the other things pull you off your task. Allow yourself to stay focused so you can move forward. And the beautiful and talented hanged woman. This is being in your seventh crown chakra in the spiritual realm, in the spiritual mind. Allowing yourself to be in the place of the observer. Okay? Allow yourself to rise up out of where you are. And allow the observation of the situation so that you can discern what's real for you. What's, what, you what is, uh, sometimes we put our own um, spin on something. We can um, make it about our, us that, that it, it's really not, right? We can take it personal, quote unquote. But we have to be in a place where we just are in a non- uh, biased situation. We just have to be open and allow the universe to show us what the lesson is without taking it personally, without being offended or allowing ourselves to get negative over it. Sometimes it's just something trying to show us an example. Sometimes I see something like that or you, there's been times when I've allowed myself to get in this position into the higher mind and I've noticed something that has happened previously that I thought was a different way. And then I see it from this point of view and I go, oh, that really wasn't personal. Or that that's what they meant, right? It's something from the past that never quite really rested. And it felt weird, but I didn't know why. So this is that point where you can put two and two together. So stay focused on your main thing. Stay focused on the on what you're working on. Be open for the universe to allow uh, yourself to move into a new way of thinking or the new way of doing something. And know that the universe has your back. It's there to provide for you at all times, more than you expect. Okay? And forgive yourself and others for whatever things they may have done, knowing or unknowing, even if they knew what they were doing, forgive them. Forgive them. You don't need to carry that. They'll live rent-free in your head if you don't. Many blessings, my friends. See you tomorrow. Namaste.